Rescuers searching for any survivors after that massive earthquake killed what ABC News is now saying is over 5,100 people. They are working hard, going through building debris to clean up the damage. Patrick Riegel reports from London with the details. This morning, a desperate race to find survivors in Turkey and Syria. Syrian rescue workers carefully moving debris, a little girl emerging from beneath the rubble. She opens her eyes, alive. Rescue operations underway in cities across eastern Turkey and northern Syria after those two massive earthquakes. Turkey's president now declaring a three-month state of emergency for 10 provinces. ABC's Marcus Moore on the ground in the Turkish city of Diyarbakir. You can see the team of rescuers on one of the upper floors there, what's left of this apartment building. They have their flashlights, some of them searching through the debris with their bare hands. They're looking for survivors under the threat of aftershocks. Thousands of buildings estimated to be collapsed or damaged. Aid agencies warn many tens of thousands have been left homeless. People forced to spend the night in camps like this one in freezing temperatures. In Syria, the situation catastrophic in a country already crippled by war. The UN before the earthquake was saying millions there were already suffering a humanitarian crisis. The Biden administration is sending two search and rescue teams to Turkey. One 78-member team based out of Los Angeles heading to Turkey this morning. But far less help is reaching Syria, isolated under the unpopular Assad regime with aid access limited when it's desperately needed. The Red Cross says at least 150,000 people in Turkey have been left homeless. Aid is pouring into Turkey, but the big fear is that very little will go to Syria. Relief agencies are calling for countries to agree now on a joint plan to get help in. Patrick Revel, ABC News, London.